March 13th was the last day that we um, had ended school. The staff was getting ready to go to spring break. And we immediately, uh, and again, it's, although I, I know I'm being recognized, it's a team effort. You know, we all got together. We started to brainstorm on ways that we could support families, especially our Head Start families. So, uh, because they're the most vulnerable of the population that we serve. So with that in mind, we quickly adjusted and started to create learning packets. And the learning packets included many activities that families could do at home. We quickly provided information on the grab and goes that was being implemented through the Department of uh, Education. In addition to that, the MEO program received funding to do a help um, and help uh, is a program that provided financial assistance to families in need, including rent, food assistance, etc. We worked with the county, so we were able to purchase 25 tablets. So through the tablet purchases, we included internet um, for Wi-Fi capabilities. Federal Head Start very generously provided us a COVID uh, funding and so we purchased a total of 75 additional tablets. As we opened and we provided in-person um, services to our children, we continued to have a virtual classroom. We actually have two virtual classrooms and, and that is because many families are still either not comfortable to send their children or child to school for in-person services, especially if they have a vulnerable adult with a health condition at home, or if the child perhaps has a vulnerable health condition. Our priority was number one, to keep children safe, family safe, and our staff safe. I commend my, my staff because uh, as a team, we were able to consider what resources we had, what we could do, and thanks to the funding that supported the work, we were able to successfully implement any plans that came to be. So we were able to obtain funds uh, using program funding actually to do grab and go. So we were able to provide non-perishable food items to families so that they had that in between their meals or anything that could help in supplementing children. We also, I want to add on that we received a, a very generous donation by the Wailea Rotary and was able to purchase food cards or gift cards for from Safeway and Foodland. And so as the case managers were able to connect with families that were struggling, we were able to connect them with some food cards so that they could go out ahead and purchase necessary food for their families. I um, started off actually not as a paid person, but I was a volunteer when my children were in preschool. And I was just amazed at the abilities of little three and four year olds, what they could do. For families that cannot afford to pay for preschool services or to pay for childcare that's going to be quality childcare and providing them with that opportunity, it means everything to me. Again, I'm very humble and honored and appreciate all the advocates and the mentors that's touched my life in my lifetime. I completely inspired and in awe of the generosity that people have in giving of themselves so that others may benefit and thrive. And for that, I'm very grateful.